Hello everybody and welcome to DeLuna F1 and I finally finished the Alfa Romeo C43 and well this one took a while this one took about three months three and a half months ish and this is not my first uh, Formula One car mind you I have made a few more in the past I think I made 25 or some or so around that number but this is by far my best and I've gotten uh, substantially better every single time I've done it and I think that this one is Gonna be the f the last one for a while. Maybe maybe until next year. I'll probably make a twenty twenty four car, but yeah. where I have it. I just have it on my wall. It's a, a nice wall art and uh, it doesn't take up too much space, but you can clearly, you know, see the diorama and it's all its glory. And, you know, I think that's a great place for it. As for the, the diorama itself, not the car, I talked enough about the car. The diorama itself was pretty easy. I don't want to get too in depth with it because it's not like, it's not the main piece, which is why I don't really care about it much. But we do have a gravel trap. Obviously, the corner is the Variante Alta. Uh, the coolest part, I think, is the uh, the serrated curbs. I think they're a great detail. Um, the tire wall, you can't really see it in this lighting. But what I did is I couldn't really find, like, a bunch of little tires. I guess I could, like, buy it online, but I didn't really want to wait for an online delivery to come. I used pipe cleaners, and I just twisted them around a pencil, and then you know, stacked them and it looks pretty nice, I think. Uh, but yeah, everything is hand-drawn. So there it is, there's the Alfa Romeo C43 and probably the hardest part would be the front wing. I'd say the front wing and the rear wing are the hardest parts if you're actually thinking to build one for yourself, which actually might make a tutorial video if I ever do make a new one uh, of the Formula One cars. I'll probably make a tutorial. I don't know if you guys will ever wanna follow it because of how long it takes uh, but yeah, the video would probably be a few hours and probably take a few months to make. This is the first time that I've really put this much detail into the rear end. I made a diffuser, I made an exhaust pipe, I made everything uh, based off of the real car. So what I did is I went in F123 and I would look at the Alfa Romeo and I would take in-game screenshots and send them to my phone uh, as reference images and I would make exactly like every piece that I could. If you're ever thinking of making one, it's not terribly difficult. You just have to have a lot of precision and a lot, a lot of patience. 